I would like to welcome you to the Laura 48 Hour Film Project 2016. My name is Jeff Hahn, and I'm the producer of the 48 Hour Film Project Little Rock. So we're going to begin the uh, kickoff at about 6.35. Do you have any questions for me, Tom? I have to go to a script here, guys. What do Say this at 635. Do not tell them the prop character or line of dialogue until it's actually 635. You may use the restroom once. So what genre you think are you hoping to get? Anything but romance. And adventure serial. I mean, we haven't, we haven't made serials in this country since the 50s, late 40s, 50s. So, it'd be interesting to try to make one, but I really don't want to try. <laughs> I don't want romance again. We've had romance a couple times in the past. And... The audience doesn't... When we do romance, the audience doesn't. <laughs> we do a, our version of romance. Nobody understands romance. Like we do. <laughs> Charlie Brady from Troca B Productions. Silent film or fable? Silent film or fable? Silent film or fable. Okay, and that concludes our kickoff. Go out there, be safe, have fun, like the comments, great stuff. You're going to make it. Good luck to you guys. You too, sure. too. Y'all have fun. Thank you very much. Yay! Yeah, I'm glad What do you think, Charlie? I don't know. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how to pull off a fable. Jimmy's going to be there around 8.39, I think. Okay. He may be able to throw out something. Parma's going to be there at 8.39. Well, I brought, I brought my camo. <laughs> <laughs> we got silent film or fable. Woo! I'm ready! <laughs> Let's go! I am Charlie Brady. I am the uh, team producer. I am the co-director, the uh, director of photography, the editor. Um, I think that's about it. Um, I do a little bit of everything uh, with everybody else's help to make sure I stay on task for every little thing. And I'll, oh. and I'll get it all set up because, you know, there's nothing to it. In his bank account? Oh, sorry, too close. In his bank account? I don't know if I can his business card says the line of dialogue. That's his catchphrase. There's nothing to it. Or there is nothing to it. What do you think about that? That's pretty good. There is nothing to it. You know, it's a uh, contest of all these different filmmakers out here trying to make a, a film in 48 hours. And it's a, uh, it's a contest. Hopefully, you know, we'll end up winning some prize. Maybe we'll win this year with the silent film we were going to do. So that would be pretty awesome. And, uh, of course, it's going to be a horror silent film. So that's the best thing about it is we love not doing the uh, crazy stuff. My name is Ami White, and um, for this group, I did crew stuff, uh, and then I had a small, I almost said a small non-speaking role, but I guess all of them were, weren't they? <laughs> yeah. I've been uh, with Brady for four years now doing this. I've known him for longer, but doing the 48 for four years. I had a better idea for the second con, the capture. Yeah. How about if he's knocking on the door, and when he knocks on the door, Mike gets to him before she answers the door. So he knocks him out. Charlie gave me more a uh, role of the director. Um, he directed the camera side, and I directed the actor side. He directed the crew, and I stayed with the actors. I He gave me more... Uh, more reins, more free reign to deal to tell them. Okay, well, I like that, but let's take another take and do it again, and let's do it bigger. Uh, let's see more play to the camera. Since it was a silent film, they had to play more to the camera. There's no words that we can portray what's going on, so it's all about motion. Come on now, it's your turn. Right. Come on, you gotta I'm do it. Right. Come on, I'm gonna I'm tell right. Mama when we get home. <laughs> uh, everybody took direction well. Um, I think everybody worked well together as far as uh, looking out for each other, feeding off each other, being able to ad-lib and, and play off of each other's 
strengths. I mean, Jet, Jimmy, uh, first time I've ever worked with him, he was outstanding. He took direction well, looked, looked natural on screen. Uh, this is my first year on this particular team. Yeah. I've uh, worked with Charlie before uh, on another project, and, but uh, so, uh, you know, it was, uh, it was a thrill to and get to work with him again. Who's your favorite person on this team? Oh, this, this would be Carmen. She's everybody's mm -hmm. favorite person on the team. Carmen, uh, I know she's an actress, she's a paid actress. actress. Um, she looked well and took direction well and had some great ideas to throw out there, uh, things that I wouldn't have thought of or seen. What if I took a pair of high, what if I took my high heels too and dug it into his foot? Well, he's already got his feet. Oh, but that's more so shit. My name is Carmen Patterson. This is my first year for the 48. And I was in Shell Patton, so on the set, I was the one who um, was conned by Jimmy's character, Jim Rhodes, and he took my money, and I found out where he was. Two other men already had him, and I wanted in on it, and we decided to torture him. And then I killed everybody. <sighs> Great dude, just like that one more time. Um, I've worked with Mike and Joe before, and those guys are up for anything, man. Those guys will do anything you ask them to. Uh, I haven't seen a line yet that we've crossed, but we try. We try. We told them that we were going to put them in a dress if we got film to film, but uh, didn't happen. <laughs> well, I'm kind of playing this uh, crazy killer. You know, I get real excited when. Pretty women kill people for me. I love it. <laughs> That's got a character I've laid. So it's uh, kind of fun doing that. Get bloody, you know. So hey. So my name is Joe Farrar. I'm one of the three people who are, are torturing and trying to kill uh, this scammer. But I really don't want to do it. You know, the other two are pretty much into really wanting to do this, but I'm really not in, into doing it. So they keep trying to get me, you know, progress me longer into trying to do at least harm me in some way. And I don't do it. And I get the wrong end of the deal towards the end of it. How do you feel as an actress uh, playing a woman that's, I guess you can say kind of confident and you know strong like that, as opposed to the cliche things that for women are typically the weaker. Oh, I love that, and that's one reason I decided to take the part. And the film's a little explicit; it was a little more explicit than anything that I would normally probably get involved in. But the content is great. It's a really, you know, it's got a really good, scary um, story that was original, not like anything I had read. And I mean, it's it's got some really wonderful actors and crew. So I thought, well, there's all of that combined with I get to have a British accent, and I'm not that girl that's running around screaming being chased. I'm the girl that's, you know, mm -hmm. doing the, the stuff. I mean, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, pretty hardcore in this film. We're making blood. All natural, perfectly safe to eat. We make the blood. What's up, Brady? Is there a, uh, is there a secret motion to this <laughs> that we should know about? <laughs> Blood? <laughs> yeah, go all around to get all the caro syrup off the bottom. <laughs> so, Brady, do you play Barry White while stirring your blood? <laughs> get on. You know, every 48 we kill Mike Brabender. How do we do that this year? Because you have to keep going with that. I mean, you, once it's in a staple for, for four years, it's a freaking tradition. We are fixing to do the Mike's big uh, neck slash blood bath scene. We got to go and. Uh, so when she does that, you mean reach up and grab at? Yeah, just kind of go. Ah! The person who knows. Hey, what shot is this? Last one down here, anyway. Down here. Yeah. yeah. Because then we have all the in the house, <laughs> and then so we have all the outside. I'm just gonna. Uh, Which isn't very much. Uh, right. We'll go with that. We're about 40%, 40, 50% of the way through the script. About three, 
maybe four scenes left. They're all pretty short. Yeah, and we should, we should start back up about 9.30, about an hour and a half. And uh, hopefully wrap about 11, maybe 11.30, noon at the latest. So we just transferred a little bit more than 17 gigs of, of footage. From a phone. From a phone. Because for some reason I thought it would be a, a great, brilliant idea to shoot the 48 on a on, on a phone. Regrets? No. No. It looks nice. Oh. It, it looks really good. This phone's run a little bit slower than massive computers and a big camera, so you gotta be a little more patient with them. We're going to Taco Arby's. Taco Arby's. We're going to Taco Arby's. I want you to feed the 48 soul. There you go. Okay. It's not even 1 o'clock on Saturday, and we're done shooting. And we don't even have a script. <laughs> and we're done shooting. We just made it up. Shooting? I was tired. I just wanted to dump and go to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, now I'm like, I want to go back and watch it. I want to see, yeah. you know, if it inspires me to go right into editing. <laughs> yeah, I want to go do that, but... It, I want to do that just so we have that weight off our shoulders. That way tonight we can work on uh, sound and music. I don't know how much sound we're even going to put in there. I mean, even... The, the stingers. And the, oh, yeah, and the yeah, music. Yeah. yeah. That did feel kind of fast there, didn't it? Mm -hmm. You can slow it down. Alright, after watching the first uh, rough cut that we just got done watching, mm -hmm. what's your thoughts? I think it flows well. I think it's good. There are a few things, like Charlie was mentioning, jump cuts and things that need to be fixed. There's some uh, continuity problems of movement, not story-wise, but movement. And then also, I guess, story-wise, because we need to figure out if we need the capture. I don't think we do, because the picture tells it, and then the beginning of the story, they already have it. So you don't need to tell them capturing him again, because you already know that they have it. I feel bad for taking, having to take that scene out. It's only the only scene I mean has, Yeah. but we don't need it. Morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. What's today's date, and what time is it? Sunday the 10th, June 10th. I'm oh, sorry, not June. Uh, I'm not, I'm sleep deprived. It's July 10th, 1967. <laughs> 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 it's 10 o'clock on a Sunday. We have until 4 o'clock to get this done. We want to be done and ready at 4 to take it up to turn it in. She pulls the shoes away. You think you'll be done way before then? I'm uh, not sure how long music's going to take. We have some ideas and picked out some music that we like. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just matching it mm -hmm. up to the actions. I'm going to cut right there. I like that. It's that general progression. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The beginning where we cut, where, where she walks in, just the feet, and then we go to this uh, shot of the hands tied up and coming up to see the reveal of her, Carmen. We cut the feet walk and started from the hands up because when she walked in, then we did the hands, she walked in again. And she did a double walk. And we didn't need the feet because it's more dramatic to come up from the start from the hands tied up, up to her, and then we spin behind her, and then Dylan might come in. When you go to the screening of your film, what exactly is going through your mind? Leave. Uh, I'm, I'm just the type of filmmaker, I'm overly critical because I've stared at the movie for so long, I can see every mistake that's in it, um, and it just it grinds my nerves. Uh, I, I don't like watching my own movies, but uh, everybody seems to like most of what we do, so, you know, over 48 hours, so, um, it's a rush, you know, I mean, when you, when you get that far, your body does really fun, interesting things, and 
Um, and then when you look back on it, you have all these stories about the about each other and what you did when you were in that state, and it's just it's fun. Just do it. It's exciting. I know I sounded like Shia LaBeouf or Shia LaBeouf just a minute ago. <laughs> just do it. It's it's awesome. I mean, it's it's such a fun experience. You're hanging out with friends. You're you're filming a movie. You're making make believe. Who doesn't want to make make believe? Who does? I mean, I would love to have a job doing what I did as a kid, make believe, making up stories, doing all sorts of like. You could film right here, and it could be something totally different to somebody else who's watching it. I could you know just I could make down down in the forest is not just a forest, but it's an Amazon jungle. No, this is in a city. But what you see on film, based on what you actually know, make believe. Movie magic. No, I mean, I just, it was a great experience. It was really it was more fun than I even thought it would be. And I'm, you know, already looking forward to next year's. Oh, so fun. <laughs> Love it. It's kind of hard to stand up all night, but you always catch up on your sleep. <laughs> but we love the 48. <laughs> you can't beat it. We'll be back next year. Fun genre, everybody worked great. Waiting four and a half hours to turn in was interesting. <laughs> so, uh, what's next? Sleep, uh, clean up, reorganizing all my equipment, and um, getting together and watching it. Yeah. Seeing the crowds respond to it.